Live from Hazard, Kentucky, this is Jammin' John's Wrestling News. Here's your news for Friday, November 9th, 2018. Despite Hulk Hogan appearing at WWE Crown Jewel, it appears that the company may hold back from using him again in the near future and that chances of him wrestling again seem very slim. Here is what 4FWOnline.com's Brian Alvarez said about the situation courtesy of RingsideNews.com. I got a question for everybody coincidentally. When's the last time you saw Hulk Hogan's name on WWE.com? When's the last time you saw Hulk Hogan's name on WWE social media? He's vanished off the face of the earth. Brian Alvarez continued on by saying, The social media department has basically been told zero Hulk Hogan. Not saying he's not going to be back again. I think that they're just biding their time and he's going to do his big return again this time on a show in the United States. But boy did he drop off the face of the earth after that crown jewel show. Alvarez also said the following about Hulk Hogan. All I can tell you from people who at the Crown Jewel show, like not fans, but people who were actually in there and saw Hogan, that they would be very, very, very surprised if he had another match. So I don't think he's going to wrestle. Brian Alvarez continued on by saying, but he's a guy. He's Hulk Hogan. So when you go to talk to sponsors and stuff, who better than to send the biggest star of the 1980s? A lot of executives grew up watching him, so that's why they want him back. A lot of merchandising opportunities and things, so he won't be coming back to wrestle. And on the topic of Hulk Hogan, in an interview with Heavy.com, Mark Henry commented on what Hulk Hogan needs to do in order for everyone to accept his apology over his past racist comments. Mark Henry said, To start, he needs to go to some of these black universities, to these law students, and let them grill him and own it and apologize. Not because you got caught, but apologize because you honestly feel remorse. He said that he found God, and he touched my heart when he said that, because I know what God will do. So if God touched him, God will also say, speak up. And when you reveal your past, you can go in on the future, and I still don't think he still completely revealed it. In a recent interview with SportsBible.com, Bobby Lashley was asked about facing Brock Lesnar in WWE. Bobby Lashley said, Absolutely. I can post anything on social media, and the people will reply, we want to see you in Brock. It's something that has been building for the past 10 years, so eventually it's going to happen because the fans want it to happen that bad. During an appearance on the AJ Awesome Show, which was recorded right before the NWA 70th Anniversary Show, Cody Rhodes addressed his plans for 2019 by saying, Well, I'm 33. I said I'd be done wrestling by 40, which is very unlikely. I don't know. I couldn't plan 2018. 2019, I don't know. I'd like to do more guest roles acting-wise. I think I've learned a little in that field, and I want to expand upon that field, not where it interrupts with my wrestling at all. Cody Rhodes continued on by saying, My New Japan dates, I'd like to advance those. I come over on a limited schedule, and I'd rather come over on a little bit more full-time schedule. They have such great wrestling. The only way you're going to get good at wrestling is wrestling where there is great wrestling, and I'd like to be there more often than I was this past year. Cody Rhodes continued on by saying, But also, I've got some big plans that I can't discuss that will take up a lot of my time, and I'm very excited about starting that, and it's a different role for me in wrestling, and I'm pumped for it. Thanks to ringsidenews.com for the quote. Joey Ryan posted the following tweet on Twitter. Joey Ryan tweeted, Had a blast teaming with Hornswoggle tonight in Chicago, but it's true, I tore my pick, heard it's going around, last night in Austin, Texas. Unfortunately, I need to pull off at pro underscore after and at Southside WE for the rest of the weekend so I can see my doctor and figure out the severity of it. So I want to send good vibes and well wishes out to Joey Ryan. Can't wait for him to get back into the ring soon. Also, some shocking news. During his recent podcast, Stone Cold Steve Austin talked about how he stopped drinking and has noticed a difference in his physique. Steve Austin said that his eating program was going fantastic. He is sticking to his exact macros. He has had zero alcohol for the past 14 days now. The pounds are coming off. His strength is going up. He says that he is as strong as a horse. No alcohol. And he's been hitting the weights on a consistent basis. Eating what he's supposed to. And he is amazed at the difference that he is making. And also he's been doing DDP yoga as well. So... 
good to hear about Stone Cold getting stronger and his physique getting much more better. But still shocking that, you know, he's given up alcohol. Because that's been, you know, part of his gimmick and stuff. It's just really shocking to hear that. But also really great to hear. And finally, here on Jam and John's Wrestling News, according to Dave Meltzer of 4FWOnline.com, Chris Jericho was paid $100,000 for his appearance at the Greatest Royal Rumble in Saudi Arabia. And of course, if you remember, earlier this year, uh, during an interview with Mirror.co.uk, Jericho alluded to being paid a huge sum of money by the WWE for the event by saying, It was cool, man. It was a long trip for a short period of time. I think I was in the Rumble match for four minutes or something like that. I know they must have been paid a whole lot of money just by proxy of what I was paid. I was like, oh my gosh, really? You're going to pay me that to do this. How much are you guys making? I always say I don't do things for money, but once in a while opportunities come up where you're crazy if you don't do it. It was a quick trip. I don't remember much about it because we arrived there free in the afternoon one day. And the next day we're at the stadium at 9 in the morning. And we get back to the hotel at 1 in the morning, and we're gone at 5 a.m. So you're really quickly in and out. Did I get a chance to do much other than sit in my room and try to get as much sleep as I could and sit in the backstage of a dusty old stadium? No, I didn't. That's about all I saw. So $100,000 for just four minutes in the Royal Rumble? Hey, sign me up, WWE. (laughs) That is your news for Friday, November 9th, 2018. Want to send a big happy, happy birthday to Alexia Leisure over in Kirksville, Missouri. A big fan of Jam and John's Wrestling News. She turned 14 a couple of days ago. Alexia is also the daughter of Tony Nelson, who is another big fan of JJWN and a subscriber to my Patreon. Thank you so much, brother. I believe the state of Missouri is uh, right on the state line of Kentucky as well, so I don't think you guys are too far away from me. It's good to hear from you guys. And Alexia, I hope you had an awesome birthday, and I wish you many, many great birthdays to come in the future. Check back here Monday for another Jam and John's Wrestling News Flash Briefing on Amazon Alexa devices. Big shout out to everybody listening to this on YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Stewie Family is the name. Follow me on Twitter at John Caldwell, J-O-N-C-O-L-W-E-L-L. Follow me on Instagram, the Jam and John. If you'd like to sponsor Jam and John's Wrestling News or your wrestling promotion, want to get your next big event out through the awesome power of Amazon Alexa, you can email me, jzcaldwell at gmail.com. That's J Z. C-O-L-W-E-L-L at gmail.com. Big shout out to Ryan Hurdle and Tony Nelson for subscribing to my Patreon. You too can subscribe to me by going to patreon.com slash jamandjohn. I have free packages on there ranging from 3 to $7. Not a whole lot of money. I would really appreciate it if you supported me a little bit financially. Once again, that's patreon.com slash jamandjohn. This is Jam and John saying thanks, goodbye, and have a great weekend, everybody.